Welcome to Subtracting Tens. In this lesson, I'm learning to subtract tens from a number by counting back in tens, or subtracting the tens first. Now, down here, you can see I've got 37. And that 37 is made up of three tens and these seven ones. Now, I want to take away 20. And we know that 20 is the same as two tens. So I'm going to go back to the materials over here and I'm going to remove two tens and find out what we're left with. So there's one ten gone and there's two tens gone. So you can see we're left with one ten and these seven ones. So one ten plus seven is 17. So 37 minus 20 equals 17. Now notice how we had these seven ones and our answer, we've still got seven ones. That hasn't changed. Now let's try another question. This time I've got 54. You can see that 54 is made up of five tens and four ones. And this time I want to take away 30. And we know that 30 is the same as three tens. So using the materials, I want to take away three tens and find out what we'll be left with. Maybe just before I do that, think if you've got five tens and you take away three tens, how many tens are you expecting that we'll be left with? Well, let's find out our answer. So I'm removing one, I'm removing two, and I'm removing three. So you can see that I've got two tens left, or 20. And I've still got these four ones up here, so 20 plus four is 24. And notice how we had four ones, and in our answer, we've still got four ones. And that's because our question over here says, I'm taking away three tens, but it says that I'm not having to take away any ones at all. That's why the ones digit isn't changing. Let's try another question. Uh, underneath this rectangle, I've got 76. So I can record that like this. 76. And I want to take away 20. So just like last time, I'm thinking about how many tens there are in 76. Well, there are seven tens. And I can see over here that I need to take away two tens, or 20. So I'm thinking to myself, seven tens minus two tens, that will leave me with five tens. And I know that five tens is the same as 50. Now if I look back up here, I can see that I started with six ones. And this question tells me that I don't have to take away any ones. So six minus nothing will leave me with six ones. So 50 plus those six equals 56. Now let's see what happens when I remove this rectangle and we work it out with the materials. So now the rectangle's gone, and the question says that I need to take away two tens, or 20. So there's 10 gone, and there's another 10 gone. So you can see that leaves me with this amount here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens, or 50. And up here, we've still got our six ones. So 50 plus 6 equals... 56, which is what we worked out when we didn't use the materials. Let's try one last question. Um, under here, you can see I've got 49. So I can record that like this. 49. Now, I want to take away 20. So just like we have in the other examples, I'm thinking about these four tens. And if I have four tens and I take away two tens, that will leave me with two tens. And I know that two tens is the same as 20. 
Now the question up here says I'm going to have nine ones. Now if I have nine ones and I don't need to take away any ones, well, that will leave me with nine. So 20 plus nine equals 29. Well, now let's remove some of these, uh, well, remove this rectangle and find out if we were right. Okay, so here's my 49, and the question says I need to take away two tens, or 20. So, there's one 10 removed, and there's a second 10 removed. So you can see that leaves me with two tens, or 20. And up here, I've still got my nine ones. 20 plus 9 is 29, so we got the right answer. Well, I hope you've found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.